So in terms of exercise for the low back, um, basically we are going to work on our glute max muscles and then our glute medius muscles as well as our core trunk muscles. Okay. Um, so the first exercise that we are going to activate is uh, the glute maximus. So there's quite a few ways of working on the glute max. I'm just going to show you uh, maybe two. So the first one is just like a simple donkey kick where you can just lift your heel up towards the air. Just do that a few times. Then the next one, you can cross your leg basically uh, like an X. So this is how it should look like. And then the next one we are going to do is like a bridge march. So what we are going to do is just going to lift up our bum like this. This is to activate the extensor chain muscles. To activate the glute medius, uh, you're, lying, you're going to lie in a 45 degrees angle, okay, not 90, 45, elbows uh, directly under the shoulder, and you're just going to lift your hip up. So you're working on here as well as here, both sides, okay. Maybe you're just going to do that for about 10 times. And then the next one we are going to do is uh, for our obliques. So um, cross your legs rather than put them on top of each other. So cross them a little bit. And then you're just going to do this. Fire the chain muscles here. And then you're just going to alternate. If you find that difficult to do, what you can do uh, is just like, you can just do this. 45 degrees, all you have to do is just lift up here and then just hold for 20 seconds. Okay, I don't want you to open your knees. It's supposed to close, so you're just feeling more of the obliques. So you're trying to curve, you're not maintaining a straight line. You're trying to curve it here so it's expanding here and it's compressing on this side. The last two exercises that we are going to do uh, is the very common bird dog exercise. Or oh, before that, uh, we can always do some activation for our lower back. Okay. What you can do, you can find a towel and put on your forehead. And what I want you to do is just lift both your legs behind. Superman where you're going to raise uh, alternate arms and alternate hands and then the bird dog If you want, you can touch your knees and elbow together. You don't need to do that. <laughs> it 
If you find it too difficult to do this, you can just raise your back leg and just go up and down or circle movement. The last movement is uh, dead bark. I will suggest you to use a wall. If you don't want to use a wall, uh, that's fine. So basically what you're going to do, you're just going to put your hands on the wall for support to engage more the core. And there's quite a few variations you can do with this. So as you bring your legs down, the lower your legs down, the harder it is on your core. And then you can just do that a few times. And if you want, you can stay there for a few seconds before coming up. And if you want, you can change into the bicycle movement. While maintaining, always push your hand, your palm into the wall a little bit. This is just another version of the dead bar. So basically, inhale, and then when you exhale, 